Welcome back to the Below the Yellow Line podcast, the podcast where me and my co-host Samuel talk the NASCAR Cup Series for hours a week, three days a week, and hope somebody will listen. I am your host, Emily, joined by... Samuel Stubbs. Two great intros in a row, Emily. Thank and you. also, uh, uh, everybody... Also, second take, two times in a row. Exactly. Well, that, that, that this time wasn't your fault. That no. was my bad for technical stuff. No, technical but, issues, uh, but still second take. Exactly. And welcome back also to the Spotter Stand YouTube channel. We are, uh, well, I'm lazy emily's not but i'm a lazy bum so we are combining uh, as you can see those of you that are watching on youtube what he's saying i am a lazy bum i'm wrapped in a christmas blanket hey no shame in that you can celebrate jesus all year long amen so okay so go back to uh yeah but uh, as you were saying why we're lazy this is a this is a combo show so uh you know we have betsy and cameron coming in tomorrow not sure if we're gonna be able to record with them tomorrow or not but mm -hmm. uh, we are gonna have something out for y'all with them both on youtube and on the podcast, and so it's just it's one less thing to post to YouTube, especially when I still haven't done truck or Xfinity pre race yet. We got three post race shows this weekend, so it, it's a crazy weekend anyway. So just want to try to to make it easier on ourselves, um, and especially my poor Chromebook, which is probably going to catch on fire at some point this week. Um, and I might also have a little short film for you guys this weekend as well. But a lot of stuff happening. Um, since our pre-race shows aren't usually that long in terms of substance, Emily, and I feel like we had a great episode last night in terms of like just random discourse and talking. We got off that recording. If you haven't listened, you should. Yeah. I think um, that's our best show ever. We were, yeah. We're both like, whoa. Yeah. We were we on a roll it. last night. And we hey, it. my mom loved it. So, I mean, we when your mom comment. loves something, I, I mean, isn't it like the peak of your career, right? Amen. When your when your mom is like, actually, I I'm feel so like proud that's of you. Like n not even close because like your mom's always proud, but that's true. It's okay, let's pretend like it. Well, is. Eh, my mom does provide constructive criticism sometimes. She's good. She's she good. Is. She's not just like a hey. If you something did a great sucks, job, she'll, she'll let tell you me know. that it sucks, <laughs> and honest. I will get better. So, which is that's great. Good. Yeah, that's good. constructive criticism is great. Yes. So, Amen. Uh, anyway, what is your well? I I, I worked together, so I guess there's not any life updates that we that I don't like know about. But these guys don't know about it. So, what is your life update? Joke, humor, random thought about Disney or, or anything else? <laughs> or I know Taylor. So I know you're excited about the the new T Swizzle album coming Speak out tomorrow. Now, so Taylor's version it comes out at 11 p.m. tonight. Actually, oh boy. so. You're going to be streaming that been immediately. Some leakage of some things, and there's yeah. some interesting topics. So, absolutely, if you see me with AirPods in in the next couple of days, it's probably T Swizzle. Probably so. Um, I, uh, I, before you mentioned that, my update, I kind of thought was going to be that I made two different pies today. Oh, you did make two different pies today. We currently have three types of pie in this house. <laughs> Mind you, again, it is not Christmas. It is July. Mm -hmm. Um, but we, our family is, we're our together family. as if it's a holiday. And so we eat as if it's whenever, mm -hmm. you know, we're eating all the good food, enjoying all the stuff. So. In the summer, we make a few little different things instead of like chocolate pie and pecan pie, which actually we have a pecan pie, or as my grandpa K says, Cairo nut, nut pie, <laughs> which is interesting which to me. It's the same thing. It, yeah, um, it is. It's just the ingredients of it, you know, whatever. Um, and so we do have that right now, but it was store bought. And that's then, okay. yeah, that's why no one's finishing it. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Made a strawberry pie today. If you've never had a strawberry pie, you should. It's you should. delicious. It's like jelloy and but in a normal pie crust, top notch. It's really good. Um, especially if you have some really good strawberries, that yeah. makes a difference. And then good I also made a lemon icebox pie, which I also feel is very old school and like mm -hmm. our family thing, especially like the way we call the it way lemon we make icebox. It icebox, not refrigerator. Lemon icebox, <laughs> lemon refrigerator and pie. It's simply the same ring. graham cracker crust with. Yeah, it's five ingredients, right? Yeah, graham cracker I've crust, made sugar, guess, butter. Well, graham cracker crust is graham cracker crumbs, sugar, graham and butter. cracker crumbs, sugar, okay. butter. And then the filling is just sweetened condensed milk, like Eagle and Brand. And lemon juice, right? And lemon juice. Yeah. And then it, like, That's literally it. chemically makes and then the, the hand sweetened of, condensed milk firm yeah. up. And then so. the hand of God comes down, blesses it, and then... Uh, and you got to have Cool Whip with both of it's those. It's incredible. Yeah. Cool Whip, not whipped cream, because we're Southern. Yes. We are very Southern. You can you, can, you could be in this house for, like, 30 minutes I mean, we like good whipped cream, but, like... We're Southern. Nobody's around here whipping cream most days. No, no, it is so, cool, cool, cool whip all cool day. Whip. Yeah, Walmart is our savior. Also, and great value um, version of it. It's so, okay, it tastes good. <laughs> uh, there was a commercial, Emily, I'd like a long time ago, like a decade ago, that I remember. And it was two NASCAR drivers. They, they had makeup on, they acted like they were old and in a nursing mm -hmm. home. It was Clint Boyer and Matt Kenseth, and they would have like motorized scooter races. So, we're at our grandfather's house right now. He just got an electric wheelchair. And we, especially Emily, 
are having the time of our Why, lives. Why, especially me? You're taking it to the bathroom every That's time true. you I go. am taking it to the bathroom. He's a lazy bum. And yeah, he's I like, oh, i got to go pee and gets on the motorized scooter, which, mind you, it's not easy because you have to go up a ramp and, like, through skinny hallways. Well, that's okay. But, hey, full rabbit mode? Ooh, man, you are flying on Pick full rabbit mode. Pick turtle or rabbit. Pick the rabbit. Yeah. If Turtles you're, roll slow. Yeah, if you're on rabbit mode, you're probably outpacing Ty Dillon most weeks, I, honestly had to sacrifice today and see if it would work on gravel because we've mm-hmm. got gravel around the home. And I was like, like, how far can he go on this? And it, like, get too bumpy? You know, can he just get to a car on the driveway? Or, like, can he go on the gravel and go beyond? Um, that was fun. It was interesting. Full rabbit. Full rabbit. Where you can't full rabbit inside very easily because, like, there's walls. It's a walls, narrow house, yeah. Walls and it's narrow and whatnot. Yeah, I got to go full rabbit in, like, a long driveway. Yeah. You know... That was fun. We do have a shop here with, like, a real... Well, I don't know how shiny the floor is, but with a really, really slick concrete floor, it would be so fun to go full rabbit in there when there's no... Nothing being worked on in there. Full rabbit, maybe a little turn at the end of it. I can make that happen. Wee! I can make that happen. We got some ends. We can make it... It'd probably be better than, like, a rolly stool Those of you on YouTube, ignore the fact that I'm on my phone while we're doing this. I need to add more Cool Whip to my grocery order. See... Multitasking. That's Always. how cool. That's how cool we are. Um, we great value version. It's a dollar oh seven compared to a wow. dollar ninety eight. That's like almost half off. That's pretty insane. Buy great value, people. Yeah, it is a great value. I can't tell the difference. As most the name of the suggests. Time. Yeah, me neither. I can't really like. I don't. I don't really care either. Like the people that are just like. Well, I don't want to be too harsh. Not snobby. I don't know the people that there are. There's things too, that do matter. There are things that do matter. There are things that do I matter. I am snobby but about some things. I will admit. The people who are so uppity that like they they cannot have anything great value just. They probably don't like, shop at Walmart anyway. They probably don't. No. They're probably over at Whole Foods, <laughs> Trader Joe's, which I love. Trader Joe's. I don't go to Whole Foods often, even though it's closer than Trader Joe's. I don't know why. I yeah. think it's just expensive and like to me it like seems healthy. Where it's Trader Joe's, it's just like great deals and unique finds. Mm-hmm. This is an Ask Our Podcast, by the way, but we are just trying to have some fun because I feel like we're technically robbing you guys. I mean, since we're combining this, I feel like we're kind of robbing you guys, so we got to have a little more fun on it, you know? That's right. That's right. But seven minutes of fun content, maybe we should move on. Yeah. At the nine-minute mark, I have, I have a really good story oh, to tell. Oh, okay, okay. We'll get 12 minutes He's of like, actual NASCAR. Nine. <laughs> well, I don't know if this will take up all so the whole minute and a half. So go ahead and skip to nine minutes if you are, like, over it. It's exactly. okay. We'll accept um, this one time. So my dad, he's, he's, he's not... I, I love you, Dad, but I'm going to be brutally honest here. He is not the most bright guy when you get him in a grocery store. Extremely smart guy in all other walks of life. But you put him in even like a Harps or a Walmart, that great that brand of his leaves. that is true for any leaves. person who doesn't do grocery shopping for their home. That's true. For the most part. No matter the gender, no matter That's whatever. True. Someone who's not used to doing the grocery shopping usually yeah. goes in a grocery store and they're like, what on earth is this place? Yeah. But he went to Trader Joe's for the first time. And he was with my mom, so, you know, he did have a grown-up with him. So I'm sure that helped. But he went in there. And, you know, he's used to being, especially in the South, you know, being able to go into, like, a Dollar General or any store. Even, like, you know, Paley Wiggly Walmart and go up to the counter, get, like, you know, a snack and a drink. You know, peanuts and Coke, which is, like, the quintessential Southern yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, so like, he most goes grocery in. stores, like, have a little, little fridge there. <laughs> exactly. So, you know, he goes in, and, you know, he's like, hey, you know, I'm going to get peanuts and Coke, which he doesn't normally do. Uh, he doesn't, like, drink soda, really. Um, but he's but like, he was like, store, I'm yeah, I'm going to get a treat. And so he's looking, and he can't find it, you know, and he goes to my mom. He's like, wait, I can't, I can't find any peanuts and Coke. And she just says, that's not the kind of place Trader Joe's is. Just not a place where you can go in and get a, a snack and But a drink. you can get pink and white cookies, and those are dang good. Have you not ever had sure. them? I'm not sure. Sh- I'm not really nice in- induced in the Trader Joe's uh, lore. I'm not much. on a lot of things, but those are so good. My really? cousin got some. Other side of the family. I um, yeah. And uh, brought them to the house when they were visiting, and I sat there and ate, like, most of her cookies, and then had to go back and get, like, two more boxes <laughs> and finish them that week. And I have cut myself off that's it good helps that trader joe's is a solid 25 minutes from that my is house good. um to keep me from getting more cookies but when i yeah. go i'm pretty sure i'll just buy a solid three or four boxes every time yeah and i made everyone in my life try them but most people didn't like them i said that's fine some people they people either loved them or were like why love, is that love hey relationship yeah. um i'm like that's fine you don't have to like them that's more for me yeah 
Do you have anything else? I'm trying to think. I don't think I have any more stories. I could go on and on about food, but I don't need to. We could. Last thing. What would be... I'm sorry. I'm pushing this. What would be the one restaurant that, like, it'd be legally dangerous to have, like, a one-minute drive from your house? Oh, Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. I'm, I'm going That's my with, gut instinct. Chick-fil-A. I'm going back and forth because there's a part of me that wants to say Chick Fil A, but at the same time, I've like I've really and this is just like a current thing. I've been craving like steak for like a couple weeks now. I feel like if somebody put like a Longhorn or a Texas Roadhouse like a minute drive away, Listen, that'd be dangerous. More dangerous for me would be like a minute walk like next door. Oh, like yeah. if you lived at a place like where you didn't have to get in the car. And, you know, like when you go on sometimes this doesn't happen for me at anybody's home or that I go to, but, like, when you go on a vacation, like, at the beach and, like, the next door place is, like, this barbecue restaurant. Mm-hmm. Listen, is it that good? Not, not no, necessarily. No, it's not the best barbecue in the world, but, dang, I eat there a lot because it's convenient. It is close. Yeah. So. I, at the last job I had, I had a gas station convenience store, like, a minute, like, literally yeah, a minute so you walk. you probably went there all the time. Yeah, and I went there almost every day after work. It yeah. was a nice little man. His name was Oscar. He was so sweet. He was so nice. I talked to you. Yeah. You know who you were. He barely spoke any English, but he away? was always so nice. No, I never got to go back and say goodbye. He's That's a sad thing. Like, wondering He's probably like He's probably wondering been. where I am. Yeah. I mean, like, I went back. I, I, uh, I feel like you My last day was in December, and then I moved in January. And it didn't wow. go back in didn't go back in January. Right, so right, I'm sorry, Oscar. 50, if you're out there, Oscar. 50% yeah. NASCAR. Yeah. All right. Do you want to read off the weekend yeah, schedule yeah. there, starting with qualifying? Say, coming up on Sunday. Wait, on Saturday. Yeah, is go qualifying. ahead. Yeah. Um, Saturday night at five thirty-five Eastern on USA or Sirius, all those normal places. There's qualifying, and then um, after qualifying, there's like a little show thingy that they have. <laughs> um, I never watch it, so I don't know. <laughs> Sunday, we've got a night race. So 625 Eastern, 525 Central um, is the red carpet walk, whatever that means. And then they'll introduce the drivers an hour, or not an hour later, five minutes later at 630. And then the race actually starts at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central. It is the Quaker State 400 available, available at, at Walmart. Walmart. What a terrible race name. What are they thinking? And it's not Oats. It's not Oats. No, Watch it's yesterday's not. episode if you want my discussion It's not that. Oats. Yeah. Not USA Oats. Network, um, NBC USA Sports Network, at yeah. PRN, the Performance Racing Network, and Sirius XM, NASCAR Radio. And there's also, I didn't know this until last week, there is a exclusive post-race show. Like there, I think there's one on TV for the USA Network Ooh, races. Sorry about the yarn. But there is a uh, <laughs> exclusive post-race show on Peacock every week. But I don't pay for Peacock anymore. Uh, yeah. So nope, I don't think it's worth it for a 30-minute pre-race show. No. Yeah. It's okay. It's all right. Hey, we're going to get through this. Good. Hopefully, we're going to get to watch the race together. We're not sure, but whether we do or not, there's going to be coverage here. Yeah. Monday for the podcast, Sunday night for the post-race show, as normal. But hopefully, we do. Hopefully, we can you know bribe some people in a nonviolent way. Um, of course, always bribe people in nonviolent manners, kids. You know. You got any life advice here while we're waiting for the standing to load because this uh, bad Wi-Fi? Any, any like life tidbits with Emily? <laughs> Like a like a. Uh, Let me get the tiny mic like here. Like the deer, uh, you know what, what's that newspaper, newspaper piece where the where the person doesn't use their name. He's like deer frustrated or deer falling out of love or you know whatever. Oh, like a Miss Myrna. Yeah. Do you know who I'm talking about? Like a columnist. Yeah. I know Miss Myrna from The Help. If you hadn't seen The Help, you should watch it. Yeah, Great pretty, movie. Pretty We've been Samuel and I've been watching a lot of movies. Well, oh, as yeah. in, I forgot. I've been earlier. forcing him to well, watch not, different not movies. Show, yeah. Big Fat Greek Wedding. Hey, big speaking, Fat Greek Wedding. Speaking two, of Big Fat Greek Wedding, when calls the heart. We no, is where the heart is. No, when calls when calls the that's heart. That's a different series. show. I love that show though. Where the heart is. That's yeah. the Walmart, Walmart baby, baby movie. I yeah, can't believe I got that mixed up. My big fat Greek wedding, you know, I, I meant to say it earlier when we were talking about how, like, you know, our family eats a lot of food and stuff. But I feel like our family, like our southern, and I feel like this goes for a lot of big southern families. Our culture isn't all that different from the Greeks, at least the portrayed it feel dramatic that way? Greeks. Yes. I'm not saying all Greek families are as crazy as the one portrayed in those films. But, you know, I feel like we're not too, uh, not all too dissimilar from the portocolosis. Definitely some resemblance. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, yeah. If you've got any good movies, I should make Samuel watch. Yeah. Um, if you have any kind movies, of I should early two thousands ish, is the vibe we're going yeah. here. Um, gonna make him watch Secondhand Lions next, I think. Yeah. So you know, that's if, a good it, one. if it didn't cost so much money to buy a VH or watch it in any way, I would make you watch. Uh, make you watch. Make you watch. Um, oh shoot, what's it called? Oh, Redline. 
Redline 3000, I think. It's an incredibly corny NASCAR movie from the late 60s. It's like half love story, half like NASCAR rivalry story hmm. with James Caan, you know, the dude who played uh, Buddy's dad in Elf. Ooh. He's in it. Um, so. Do love me some Buddy's dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, you want to read off the point standings, Emily, starting off with, uh... I am just... blind, and I will do my best. Okay. Good luck. So, at rank number one, we have William Byron with 582 points, followed by... Wait. Martin Truex. Sorry, I should be reading the points too. on the right, correct? 2027, uh, yeah. those, those are the, uh, one. whatever Top called guys points, yeah. So, Martin Truex in second place, followed by Kyle Busch in third, Ross Chastain in fourth, and Kyle Larson in fifth. Then we've got my man, Denny Hamlin, Christopher Bell, Ryan Blaney, Joey Logano, followed by Tyler Reddick in tenth. Ricky Stenhouse in eleventh. He's the last guy in on wins right now. Kevin Harvick plus 151, first man in on points. Then you have Chris Busher plus, wait, no, wait, yeah, uh, Brad Kozlowski. Plus nine, oh, well, those are playoff points. They're all out of whack. Bushers plus 104, Kez plus 91. Bubba Wallace plus 15, last man in Ty Gibbs plus 6. And if you want to go down, Daniel Suarez there, mm-hmm. read on the right-hand side how many points these guys are out of the postseason. Yeah, Daniel Suarez is out by 6, Michael McDowell by 10, AJ Allmendinger 24, Alex Bowman 26, Justin Haley 45. He had a good week last week. He did. Um, Austin Sendrick 45, Corey LeJoy 47, and Chase Elliott is down by 55 points. Oof. Just oof. Oh, you know who else is having an oof season? Ryan Priest. I still haven't put it out as a YouTube short yeah, yet. He's I loaded 66. on the guy. He's next. Yeah, he got it. He got a D minus. Uh, sixty-six points out. Uh, Todd, what's his face? Minus seventy-nine. Gilliland, Emily. Gilliland. 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 It's like Gilligan, but not Gilliland. Gilliland's Island. Somebody should make a, a parody L's. of that. It does have a lot of L's. Just like he should uh, make a commercial for himself and be like, "It's Gilliland's Island." I got a lot of L's. I got a lot of L's. Can I have an L? <laughs> Give me an L. Give me an L. <laughs> oh dear, this episode's devolving into chaos, just like most Cup Series races. Okay. Eric Amarola minus what does that say? Eighty-one. Mm-hmm. I just scratched a mosquito bite and it's bleeding now. Austin Dillon minus one thirty. Harrison Burton minus one thirty-six. Uh, Eric Jones minus one thirty-seven. Uh, C Swizzle. That doesn't work for everybody, does it? Chase Briscoe, minus 171. Noah Gregson, minus 212. Uh, Ty Dillon, minus 225. And it's funny, it's ironic he had the White Sox sponsor him, who are one of the worst teams in baseball at Chicago. Who? Uh, Ty Dillon. Had one of the worst teams in baseball sponsored the worst full-time driver in Cup this year. You know you're doing pretty bad when uh, Shane Van Gisbergen comes in, runs one race, (laughs) and is less than 100 points out from you when you run 17 more races. Yeah. That's pretty bad. Yeah. That's really bad. Yeah. That's that's a shame. What are your main takeaways mm-hmm. of the standings right now? Big race, especially going to a super speedway, big playoff implications this weekend. I mean, I feel like these guys are pretty solid in where they're at and that we're not going to see a whole lot of movement um, in the future ending of the season. That's okay. There, I think, will be some moves, like some guys that haven't won a race yet that will get locked in. Um, aside from that, I don't know. We'll see. Who are some of your who give me like two three guys you think could uh, very well be in the running and maybe an underdog this weekend for Atlanta? Chase Elliott, defending winner. Denny Hamlin. Beautiful Coke scheme this weekend. Go Cola. Wait, what was I answering? Just like my pick. Yeah, thoughts? three three guy three guys that you think could be up there and then maybe yeah an yeah William Byron. William Byron. Yeah. What about an underdog? <laughs> They're not gonna do any good. <laughs> Boom roasted. Boom roasted. Um, yeah, give me. Yeah, I feel, would it be a homer pick to pick Bubba? No, it's not. I make the rules. Uh, Bubba. I would like to think Bubba, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Yeah, give me Bubba, uh, Bubba, Blaney, and uh, Kyle Larson. I guess I don't know. My mind got stuck. See, um, I have this thing with picking Kyle. You know, I've picked him a crap ton this season. Well, I'm not picking him to win. I'm picking I know, him to be up there. I know, there. I know. But He's still like, probably going to get involved in a wreck. Yeah. Yeah. Who's your win pick for the quicker safe 400 going, available at Walmart? I'm going William Byron. Going William Byron. He's Walking dominating. He's got Who's a history I pick? here. I forgot my pick. Oh, never mind. I remember my pick. It's William Byron. Okay, I'm going to go Joey Logano. I think he sweeps. He he needs a win. Well, he um, needs it. I, I think he's going to get it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll have to wait and see. We will have to wait and see. Tune in, uh, what time? Sunday. 7 p.m. Eastern? 
U- uh, yeah, 7, 7 p.m. Eastern, Eastern 6 USA, p.m. Central, <laughs> 5 p.m. Mountain, 4 p.m. Pacific, USA Network, um, Sirius XM NASCAR Radio. Um, again, night. hopefully we get to watch together. We're not sure. Uh, we'll let you know, but plenty of coverage this weekend on the Spotter Sand YouTube channel uh, for for uh, the trucks and Xfinity. Maybe we'll get to watch one of those together, even hopefully. if we can't watch a cup. Um, We're going to make it happen. Get, make you watch a truck race. Boy, you think you see chaos every week in the Cup Series? Watch. Wait till you see a bunch of college students. remind me students. of when we went to the Tulsa Speedway. Yeah. <laughs> they were just wrecking, flipping. Wrecking and flipping. and Yeah. Woo. I did put out a vlog on that, by the way. So uh, go, watch go it. check that out. You it's should watch times. it. Um, like, subscribe, comment, share. Click, Click all the buttons. All the buttons. If you're listening on the podcast, go to the Spotter Stand YouTube channel. The Spotter Posh VS Stand. Email us. Below the online podcast, gmail.com. Look at us, Emily. We got 30 seconds to spare. Just say let's whatever just, you want. Let's Go just off. awkwardly you got 30 stare seconds. at our uh, viewers and have an awkward silence for our awkward listeners. Silence. Yeah, if, you, if you're listening on the podcast, just know we're staring deep into your soul right now. <laughs> I think that's all that needed to be said. I think that's it. That is Emily. I am Samuel Suds. We'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>